YouTube, Dirty Printed Life here. Um, now the first thing you may notice about this video is that everything looks much whiter on the walls and the table. Uh, I got new light bulbs, which are like awesome LED ones. So uh, hopefully that should make everything look better and brighter because now I'm running at like double the brightness. So should make things much better for you guys viewership wise. Now let's get into the printer itself. What have I done since the last thing? Well, not much. I got it up in printing, so it is running and I did replace some parts as in the bed. The bed is now the actual aluminum bed that it will be. It's that awesome really nice one from eBay. Um, my bolts are too short though so I'm getting new ones so as you can see the springs are fully compressed and I got a nice new sheet of build tech on here. Never used so it looks nice and crisp. Now I don't have the heated bed part on it yet um, because I'm waiting on the robot dig order to get the proper 24 volt pad. The original one that I ordered was 24 volt but they accidentally shipped 12 so that won't really work. Um, now wiring hasn't really changed, uh, but I did break out the STX5V3 Mini. Now Roy over at Pandacat sent this to me to like beta test and all that stuff, um, but I was having some issues with it. It probably was firmware based, um, but I haven't really tried it out since then. So I loaded up the uh, new version of Smoothie, I think it's version 2 as of like September or something, and, uh, and I went ahead and configured a new file to put on the SD card for the configuration, but I don't have the right sized USB cable, at least not that I can find. So I'll have to look around for that, uh, see if I can find one so that I can hook this guy up to here and see how that does. Um, but before I can really determine the difference between these two, I have to finish the printer, and by that I mean replace these linear guides with ones that are actually not missing half their balls, and uh, replace these uh, plastic, well you can't actually see them, but there's plastic shafts inside these two idlers and all of the idlers for that matter. This guy and everything. Um, I ordered new ones from Misumi that are aluminum tubes that are the proper sized. So hopefully I can just drop those in once I get them, replace the plastic directly, uh, and then that should work for the final product, just having little tubes sitting inside these instead of bolting them down directly. I think that'll work though. Um, the belt tension is still pretty low. I'm still using this kind of uh, makeshift belt setup, but I do think I can crank up the tension a little bit without really any major issues, so I'll be doing that later on, again, after I get the proper metal spacers, because as you can see, this guy has a ton of play, and that goes for all of these very tall idlers. The small ones have some play, but not much. But these tall ones have a ton of play. But yeah, so uh, last thing I did is you'll see that this tube is now going to the back because I have mounted the extruder on the back here, the Titan. So I don't actually have the spool holder yet. I'm going to have a spool holder that will go on the back panel and just stick out like that. Just a plastic piece to hold the spool. But for now, I have little rollers that I can just put the spool on behind it just so that I can use this with a mounted extruder because uh, that makes things much cleaner and easier. And I was also able to chop down, I don't think I have the piece anywhere, but I think I cut off about six inches of this PTFE tubing. So the PTFE tubing is even shorter, which means it should give even better quality prints with less string in and all that fun stuff. Although there was very minimal string in to begin with. I did print this red piece out on the Eclipse 3D2. Um, so it is mounted, it's kind of hard to see. Quality wise, it's pretty good. Um, not quite as good as the Eclipse 3D yet, but I'm running <laughs> severely impaired right now with these linear guides and the plastic inside those idlers. Um, once those two parts come in, the quality should skyrocket. Um, and again, I do have to tighten up the belt still, and I have to get the proper belt clamping mechanism, because that probably has some leeway in there. Um, all sorts of stuff, but the point is, stuff is getting done. Stuff is coming together, and uh, Robot Dig and Misumi orders should be coming in in, I'd say, about 10 days from now. Misumi will probably come in first, uh, which is fine by me, and then after that should be Robot Dig. Hopefully within two weeks or so, I will have all those new components on there. Oh, and I did order from McMaster Car 2 a bunch of bolts, um, black oxidized bolts for going up here so that I don't have these weird things anymore. Uh, black oxidized button heads for the top, black oxidized bolts for the steppers, and for down here. Although I accidentally ordered not black oxidized, so I'll have to spray paint them black or something for the time being. <laughs> but yeah, so stuff's coming together. 
it's just a matter of time now until those parts come and then I can finally um, make this thing work the way it's supposed to work and then actually see how good the quality is going to be. Been working on the fan a little bit. I do have a bracket. Um, I had to cut out a piece because of how my temporary belt solution works. I have these things which I'm not going to have. Um, haven't been able to get a duct to fit right yet. Um, this is too small and this is without the little 360 ducting. I do have one with 360 ducting. There we go. Well, 180 I should say. Um, pretty cool, but I will see what I'm going to use once I get everything together and actually get this mounted with longer wires and ugh, so much stuff to do. Hopefully I have enough time. But yeah, so right now estimated time to semi-complete printing. Probably about two weeks, two and a half weeks. Um, but then I got to order the side panels and fine tune. So uh, I'm going to have to push back the completion of this prototype by about a week or two. I'm still going to say by mid-October it should be fully done and ready to go on to beta testing. I do have high hopes that I'll be able to finish before that deadline, but we shall see. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.